I couldn't believe that if there was actually a loving God, that I would be feeling so poorly and so small and insignificant and miserable. For the honor of the Savior, let the cross be lived. All my life growing up in public school, I felt lost in this huge sea and I always felt like the lesser, smaller fish as if everyone else, because they had more money or they were more popular or pretty or whatever, that I was lesser and less important, less liked. The idea of, well, if I just left one day or disappeared, no one would care, no one would notice because I'm just one tiny insignificant person in this like huge mass of people. That specifically got a lot worse um, in high school when I lived in Seattle. I fell into like really harsh depression for a solid two years. And during that time, I lost my faith completely. I felt so miserable and alone. And I felt like I was often drowning just in everything. I always grew up knowing who Christ was and I grew up thinking I was a Christian, but I never acted on it and I never took the time to pray or set aside time to read the scriptures or do anything to actually act upon my faith. With my experience in public school, we weren't allowed to talk about our religious beliefs or political views or anything that would cause um, controversy or thought. <laughs> um, but at Hillcrest, it's so refreshing and it's one of the first things I noticed actually was that we talk about the scripture and God's promise to us in every class, every day. Now to be able to come here and ask questions about my faith and not have a negative response in return. I'm able to have my questions answered and I'm able to get help without being judged. Coming to Hillcrest not only has my faith and my character grown so much, but I am now excelling in school as well because I feel so determined to do well for these people that I genuinely know and really like. And that's really nice to actually want to succeed in school.